What's up, Danny gang? Welcome back to our channel. Good morning. Happy freaking Monday. New week, new goals. Good morning. <laughs> Y'all, I've been up since 5.30 trying to edit and upload the last video that y'all saw. I don't know what in the world is going on, but that video has been giving me so much hard times. Like, I've literally tried to upload that video three times so i'm gonna try one more time and it better work like i woke up at 5 30 well 5 40 to upload that video before i went to the gym and it still didn't upload and sis gotta get to the gym so anyway um i showed y'all this little mini shaker bottle in that video um i'm gonna go ahead and make my pre-workout now before i leave for the gym and um yeah before i do that i need you guys to know that i'm now second new member of the danny gang if you want to be a member of the gang 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 like comment, subscribe hit that bell after you hit the bell put your fist up y'all gotta fight me after you fight me and you're jumped in and only then are you a lifetime member period 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 nothing left to say like period 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 so yeah, y'all, happy Monday. It is August 2nd, so we still have time <clears throat> to kill this month. Let's smash it. So yeah, I'm using this little mini bottle, blender bottle for my pre-workout. Um, today, I am going back to an OD, but mother freaking goodie. I'm using a lot of new Breezeberry. Y'all know this is my favorite like liquid energy drink in a can, and I think it's my favorite powder um, pre-workout. I just have been using... Um, the cherry slush so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and put a scoop and say half a scoop and six to eight ounce of water but y'all know we're gonna use a full scoop so i just opened that up i haven't used this one in a hot little minute because i've been stuck on the new flavors so inside here i got my little ball and i'm just gonna put my pre-workout in there how y'all doing? How y'all Monday going? Hopefully you're having a good day, a good morning, a good evening, whatever, whenever you're watching this video. You're probably seeing this video on Wednesday, so happy hump day. We're almost through the end of the week at this point. Um, so yeah, I have my powder in there, and I'm just going to add a little bit of water. That's really all I need. I put in less than six ounces, just a little bit. I'm a dry scooper girl though. I'm, I'm definitely part of the dry scoop gang. I just wanted to mix it um, sometime. And then like me having braces, dry, stuck. I'm trying to like just be better with my braces. So yeah, I'm just gonna shake it up. Put the top back on here. And we go ahead to the gym. So I just wanted to come say good morning. It is now 7 a.m. I have to work today at 11. So I need to go ahead and get on the road. So I'm going to take my pre-workout on my way to the gym. And then I'm going to just take the rest of this water in the gym with me. I think today is going to be legs. I did not go to the gym yesterday, which was Sunday. So I'm going to start the week out doing legs. Y'all still have time to sign up for the challenge with Deja Fit Beauty. You can use the link in my description box. But yeah, y'all. Um, other than that, I had a great weekend. Like I said, hopefully you guys checked out my last vlog. Had a lot of fun. Y'all know my weekend's always Liddy City period so you had a lot of fun and yeah i just um have been planning like out this month i really want to have like some intentional content y'all are loving like seeing more keto so i'm definitely gonna bring that back to my platform um it's monday so it's my night to cook so i'm trying to think what i want to cook i kind of want to do like this salmon bowl i'll put a picture on the side of this side of the screen that i um key to fitness makes i don't know if y'all follow her but she's dope i follow her on instagram and she's always like collateral like uh alani new gym shark you know she's a baby so yeah i kind of want to make that salmon bowl but i just feel like it might be a tad bit difficult because 
Maybe and I are eating so differently. So like, it, it's salmon, brown rice, from what I remember, and some other stuff. But since, like I said, we're eating so different, I would have to make so much extra stuff and I'm trying to limit all that extraness. So yeah, I have to decide what I wanna make for dinner. In my mind, I'm trying to think like what's at the house so I can know what I might need to pick up um, after work or um, a Target pickup that I can pick up after work because I know I need like paper towels, toilet papers. So yeah, y'all, I'm just trying to get all of that in my mind, but I'm um, probably going to, like I said, do legs today, but I'm going to start off on the elliptical like I always do. That is just my gym routine. Y'all let me know what is y'all gym routine because I literally start on the elliptical every day. So while I'm on the elliptical, I'll probably look at like some TikTok recipes for like ground turkey because I know I got that at home. Um, got broccoli at home, got cauliflower rice at home. So yeah, I may look on TikTok and just see like if I can make something with what I got at home. Um, other than that, yep, it's Monday. Um, day two of my work week because I did go to work yesterday. So it's day two of my work week, which is cool. And yeah, I'm excited to smash my goals. I'm also, um simultaneously will be doing this other little challenge that I saw on Instagram I first saw it on my girl um fine curls jazz Instagram and it's just like a little chart where each day you work out you just put like a happy face or something on it and then you post it so uh, I am gonna do that so yeah I'm just trying to like dive deep in the fitness okay because I feel good and I'm excited. I see changes in my face and that's what I was looking for. Anytime I lose weight, I can automatically tell by my face. Um, that's literally the first thing I can tell by. So my face is looking very um, slim and then also um, my face is looking really good from the Curology. So um, I I'm on day eight today of Curology. It's been officially over a week. <coughs> like I said, in about three weeks i'll do an official update but yeah y'all i just wanted to come and say hey good morning hopefully um i'll have time to swing by trader joe's when i get out the gym because i wanted to get like some um wellness shots for babe and i or either aldi i just want to get some like wellness shots because y'all know the rona's still here and you know delta variant and all this other stuff so i'm just trying to remain safe and healthy but anyway um i'm about to turn and head into the gym i'm about to just chug this and i will see you guys maybe at aldi or trader joe's um and if i forget to pull the camera out i'll show you guys what i get when i get home but it's 7 14 and i'm gonna go work out for about an hour so i'll see you guys then Oh yeah, my lashes are still holding up. I can tell I lost a couple of them because I did wash them. We're supposed to be washing our lashes every two to three days. So just like the hair on your head, you lose some every day. You you lose lashes every day too. So um, I do have a scheduled refill next week, but they're looking pretty good, pretty good. Um, but yeah, I think like I lost one right here, which... I'm trying not to freak out because typically I'm that type of person like, oh my God, I lost the lash. I most definitely need to go get a refill. But hey, it's just the last extension gang. Like you lose a lash, you take it out to your next refill. So um, I got a refill next week and yeah, but I'm loving them. I'm going to definitely continue to get them because even without any makeup, just having lashes just give you like an extra little pop. Like, okay, sis. So, definitely like them. I'm definitely going to keep getting them. And, um, yeah. So, yeah. Let me kill this. I just missed y'all and I'm just talking. And let me kill this. Let me get in the gym. And I'll see y'all in my next clip. Yeah.
protein shakes, cinnamon, crochata, cocoa bean, a two for six. I just feel like that brand I heard about and I don't think it's good. Now this cold brew coffee has 20 grams of protein. 11 carbs, 6 dietary fibers, so 5 net carbs per serving, so it says so I may try this it's plant based cold brew coffee it's like a protein drink I might try this I'm a little nervous but I might try this y'all know I love I love love this this is so good I think I'm gonna get one of these as well oh it's the last one I got to nine carbs mm, maybe not I don't want to waste nine carbs on it back to reading the labels y'all but anyway I'm gonna decide what I get and then we'll try it in the car I think I'm gonna try this all right, gang, real quick. I know I wanted a green juice, but when I went in there, I was captivated by this own only what you need cold brew coffee, 20 grams of protein. It's plant-based, 148 milligrams of caffeine, no dairy, no peanut, no tree, no wheat. I don't see any other uh, allergens. Tested for the top eight allergens. Um, and it had 11 total carbs, six dietary fiber. So five carbs for this, 20 grams of protein. So if I could start my day off with this, that'd be great if I like it. Y'all know when you get these pre-made little shaky lakes, shaky, shaky shakes, smoothies and all that, they don't always be good. So you just kind of like trial and error. But this, if this one is good, um, I can see myself buying it again. It was like, I don't know, two something, two dollars and some change. But if it's good and I can get my 20 grams of protein with a cold brew coffee and get 148 mgs of caffeine, like, wait. So, yeah, I'm about to pop this open and try this. Um, it is now 8 30, 8 35. So, I was in the gym about an hour or so. Um, I am driving, so just bear with me. This is the own, only what you need, plant protein, cold brew. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If it ain't good, then it's just like, okay, $2 gone, and I know that I don't like it, and I won't get it again. Coming to a red light. Okay, it smells good. It smells like cold brew coffee and chocolate. So I just took the little thing off of it. I'm gonna put the top back on it like really quick. Shake it up. Well, look how she ate that. Is it good? Yeah. Would I buy it again? Maybe. Mm. But is it good? Yeah. I like this. Pronounced only a pronounceable on pronounceable ingredients only which is what i love so this is actually pretty tasty i had to taste it a couple times but yeah this is actually really good i am logging so i will put this in my fitness pal once i make it home it's tasty um i think i'll drink this as my breakfast and so this will be my post workout um, i'm gonna go ahead and finish it because it's pretty tasty um like i said would i buy it again probably um, I'm trying to see why I might not. I'm gonna say, yeah, I will buy it again. They had other flavors, but y'all know coffee 
is my life. So Cobra Coffee is the one I tried. If y'all try it, let me know. All right, gang. So I'm home from work, and like before I take a shower and settle down, like y'all, our fridge is literally a catastrophe. Like it is so much stuff in the fridge. So I'm about to go ahead and organize this fridge or whatever. I'll come back and show y'all. I'm doing like a tap to organize on um, Instagram, but y'all, it's just so much stuff that I cannot even function. And then our cabinets have so much stuff. So I have my solar bread right here babe has two loads of his bread right here we got a watermelon an air fryer our oil and then we got this little jar with coffee my espresso the um <clears throat> fruit basket then over here is like the canisters like it's just too much on the counters and i'm going crazy dishes and then i'm organized and i'll be back and show y'all but yeah while i'm doing all that let me show y'all what we ate for dinner Tuesday. This is how the fridge came out. It's a little more organized than the clip before, but I want to um go back to organizing like the, with these bins. These are the only two bins that I have left, and they just have the water and like the coffee stuff. And then, babe, got some juice back there. But anyway, a little bit of organizing. I still have those keto peanut butter bites. Took me some solar bread out the freezer. Um. Got my Alani new energy drinks down here. Babe and I both have Powerades over there. Um, Diet sodas right here. Greek yogurt right here. Babe's bread right there. Y'all let me know, do y'all put bread in the refrigerator or leave it on the counter? I like it both ways, but the counter was just a mess. Got some chicken thighs up there, eggs. Um, yeah, but Babe went to the store yesterday and he got me some keto things and i wanted to just share them with y'all because this is the perfect thing to look at the labels so um last night in the previous clip y'all saw i made sloppy joes with my keto buns and i did have some of these veggie fries the zucchini garlic and parmesan and parmesan veggie fries so i know with this brand and stuff like this it's usually really high in carbs, and um, that's why I typically don't grab this stuff and why you guys typically never see me eat this stuff. But anyway, Babe went shopping yesterday, and he was so sweet, and he grabbed me some stuff, um, you know, to help me, you know, be keto, but he's not really the best at reading. He knows how to read the nutrition facts, but he doesn't really read them. Anyway... He picked up some zucchini and garlic and parmesan fries, which were bomb. I did measure them out, so I did have, I think, 10 of them. And I just wanted to show y'all that they have a lot of carbs in them. So you can have 11 fries for 23 carbs and two dietary fibers. And when we looked at regular french fries, you could have 13 french fries for 17 carbs. So that's just a little, you know, peek. Yesterday, I've been doing um, OMAD, so yesterday I did not eat at all. Um, physically, I had a green smoothie, an avoc avocado smoothie from Tropical Smoothie, and I'll put how I get mine. I replaced the sugar with Splenda and all that. I just make it keto, but he picked these up, and then he also picked up these cauliflower breadsticks because he knows I love bread. And he got the garlic bread. So, like, I guess one day when he makes pasta or I make spaghetti or whatever, I'll have a bread option, which is so sweet. Yeah, he wanted to also get me some bread because he know I love garlic bread. So, he got me these cauliflower bread sticks, which these are not the worst. So, one, well, they are because one stick has 17 grams of carbs, 
one dietary fiber. So they they don't feel that big. But um yeah, he bought them for me, so of course I'm gonna eat them. He ate these last night too with his um uh sloppy joe so we both had these last night but yeah i am gonna eat them because we have them and i do want to try them i'll just be moderate of course but yeah always 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 read the labels just because it says veggie or just because it says cauliflower does not mean at all they are low carb now granted they were really good and these are probably be really good too but it's not low carb and it's probably something i would not buy and i'm not buying again um I've educated babe but yeah that's just like a little tip read the labels don't just grab stuff because it say veggies um so yeah this is a good example but anyway um i just wanted to share this with you it is tuesday morning eight o'clock i'm about to go to the gym before work and um yeah it's not my night to cook so i don't know what i will have but i do think i'm going to take a sandwich with me to work so i did take my soda bread out the freezer like I told y'all, I had I had this solar bread in the freezer, so I just took it out yesterday to defrost. And then I do have some solar bagels. I do have some solar bagels in here as well that I am not going to take out the freezer because I just don't want any right now. But I do have some solar bagels. But anyway, just wanted to come show you guys that. Say good morning, and I'll see you guys later. Good morning. So y'all, I'm getting ready to go to the gym, taking out my contacts. But really quickly, I wanted to give a huge shout out to LTTC Bro Limited Company for sponsoring this portion of the video. Y'all, excuse my voice. Y'all know it's early and I'm getting ready to go to the gym and I put my contacts in. But shout out to them because they sent me over two of their seamless bras. This is the nude one. I have it on now. Y'all, when I say, I'm not even gonna lie to you, these bras are like $19 and they are the most comfortable bras I have ever worn. And they're seamless. I hate bras with underwire. Y'all got a little got a little stomach I gotta lose. But anyway, I hate bras with underwire and I love these. They're super supportive. And I just love how they feel on my skin. So again, shout out to them for sponsoring this portion of the video. If y'all want to check them out, I'll leave a link below in the description box so that you guys can shop. And if I have a coupon code, I'll leave that as well. So if they sent me over nude, do y'all see how it fits? I literally could jump, run in this, and I really like it. Now, I also have a black that I am about to show you guys. And y'all, I wear the black all the time y'all know i love black so i wear the black all the time the black actually has some deodorant on it because i wear it so much but i'm gonna go ahead and try the black on so you guys can see but like i said shout out to them for sponsoring this portion of the video i'm about to get ready to go to the gym but before i do i was like let me show y'all these bras because to me they can be like sports bras for a lightweight day they fit really well underneath your clothing because they're flat and seamless and they're just super super comfortable and i just love the length of them i love a longer um sports bra or a longer bra y'all that's deodorant don't mind that but yeah see how stretchy it is and comfortable but it also comes with the padding so yeah if you guys are interested click the link in the description box below and get your shop on if i have a code i'll leave it on the screen and yeah i just love the way they fit so again thank you so much for sponsoring this portion of the video and i'll see you guys after work because after i work out i'm headed to work so see y'all in the next clip all right gang so i am home from work and it's babe's night to cook so y'all already know i'm coming to show y'all his spread like y'all he gonna keep me showing me up on his nights to cook y'all let me know in the comments like how y'all do dinner it's like do one person cook then one person cook y'all let me know but anyway tonight is like a um chicken burger night so um right here we got the chicken patties they are nice and hot he is going to use these um 
bread thins right here y'all already know i got some keto buns um typically i be hungry when i get off so he got me out two burgers i don't know if i'm gonna eat both he also set me up some wine so i'm definitely sipping on this now i'm sipping on some sangria no this is not the most keto friendly but of course i am literally only having a sip and i'll take that i have not ate today so this would be my first meal of the day um i just have not been hungry but anyway so this is like the burgers and the meat um these are the chicken patties y'all they're plant-based so it's not really chicken it's a plant-based patty which i'm super excited to try each one has 12 grams of protein which is what we aim for so i'm excited about that got some plates out these are the buns that i use i get them from aldi they're the keto friendly buns they only have two net carbs per bun so guilt-free um so yeah those are the buns i use and then here there's also an assortment y'all know i love a presentation like it's the presentation for me um got some pickles right here some red onions some lettuce some lemon he made me a side salad and i have some of my asian sesame if you know you know this is my favorite dressing by can steakhouse bomb then he put all the fixings right here so we got croutons um strawberry cranberries and nuts crispy jalapenos i'll probably keep my salad plain even though the croutons are taunting me i'm just gonna um eat my salad with this and a little bit of dressing and then over here for the burgers he has some um sweet baby rays secret sauce i ain't never seen this y'all let me know if y'all seen this and then some mayo so it's the spread for me. You can tell me what you're feeling, why you chose to take this road. But I'm not willing to give up myself for you to take control. And you've been saying all the words, but I'm still circling in love. Down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video.